Hi everyone, we're going to go down to St. Louis today and put together a lot of the end times and how it's right in front of us every day. We show how all of the world is as a matrix, going right by the Bible. That God said in the book of Acts 2.17, you would see signs in the heavens and on the earth. That the continents, the valleys, the rivers, the mountains, and even the roads and homes and everything will come out looking like a giant computer chip, a grid. God has made everything, and it's going as a story. We have mapped out many, many places all around the world. You check our channel, maybe even your own town. Today we're going to confirm some more things right here in the St. Louis area, showing about when the time of grace and mercy ends and the beast from the bottomless pit rises up to make everybody worship this image, an idol. You can see right here in St. Louis, see this big idol? looking like a big elephant and it's known as the fifth angel and when the key is used to open the abyss. Right here you can see one of the characters that they show everybody as a hero on the earth is actually Satan, the destroyer, and he's right here. He's also written of as the Smith in the book of Isaiah and was in the Matrix movie as the Smith. This is the real Batman. This is who you're calling when you call 911, the beast from the bottomless pit. Satan's job is to punish sinners. So that's what he does right there. He's coming with this big bear. See this bear here? This represents when he, remember, he thinks it is time for to come and judge mankind. The Batman is bringing Russia and everybody to punish the USA. Your hero, Batman, is going to burn the USA. This is all of the world leaders working together and they will give their power unto the beast just as in the movie where everybody was trying to work with Batman to get rid of Superman. All of the world will give its power to this beast. See him right there? He is the beast from, bo from the bottomless pit. Yes, I'm sorry, your so-called hero. Well he is the second beast. The beast that rises out of the earth. The first beast is right here, right in front of us, and it shows him ready to run from him. Right up here, you can see this Pope system. On the great shark that we have shown, see the beast right here? Do you see the Pope right up there? And the Pope sitting right here is actually right by the 55 for the fifth age, is pulling the button to let out the beast from the bottomless pit. And he is actually doing a grievous head wound event. It's going to happen to himself. There's going to be something that happens to the Vatican is what it shows. Because right here, it shows the nuke. Ending the time of this dog, meaning, meaning grace and mercy, and there is the Pope receiving a grievous head wound. Or whoever, who knows, maybe it's Obama or one of the other nation's leaders. But just see how perfect that is. Let's get it all perfect on here. Let's get the bear on there. There we go. Now see that that's all by the line. See the shark that we've even shown before? The Revelation 13 beast out of the sea and the Revelation 13 beast out of the ground. Out of the earth. See him right there? So let's take all this off for a second. Here we go. Do we know a date? We don't know. That is this picture right here, all of these nations. See Russia involved? The nuclear football being kicked. I just wanted to show that that's all right in front of us. Isn't that wild? It's a weaving of fate everywhere. We don't know a time or date. But see that nuke? Boom. And then he rises back up with the beast. And then the other beast rises. It shows it right in the Bible why we're going to keep watch on this Friday the 13th. There will be symbolism of this beast rising. It, in whatever way. It doesn't mean the world has to blow up. See the beast out of the sea, and then the beast out of the earth, and the mark of the beast coming. There it all is. The Revelation 13 beasts. Both of them. The beast out of the sea, and the beast out of the earth. This is called the smith. See the smith? He is the waster the destroyer in the Bible. We don't know about dates. 
But everything's going according to the script of the Bible. So let's keep watch. Confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart God hath risen him from the dead, and you'll be saved. Hallelujah. So we can see that the Pope, and one of them is one of the ones that we used a key to open the abyss. And this is what comes out of the abyss. The Batman, Locust, coming out. And that's when the grievous head wound happens. Right in front of us. Isn't that wild? So there it all is. The beast from the pit being risen up. And up here is the beast out of the sea. And the grievous head wound happens. Confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart God hath risen him from the dead. And you'll be saved. Hallelujah. Thank you very much, everybody. I'll see you at the wedding feast of the Lamb. Keep faith. Everything's going according to plan. As crazy as it is, it's written like a giant movie. So let's enjoy the adventure. Hallelujah.